Hey, remember that Wheel of Time TV show that Amazon made? Uh, I wouldn't blame you for forgetting about it. It's been a while since we've had anything meaningful to talk about news related, but against all odds, there's some stuff to talk about today, and it sparks some exciting discussion. Today in the Wheel of Time news, we'll be covering some new castings, fresh behind the scenes information that's been released, and an upcoming panel where I think we might just get our release date. Join me today on the weekly Wheel of Time news. Today's video will carry a spoiler rating of green with no spoilers of any kind. Feel free to watch this video whether you've read the books or not. Now before we get into the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more Wheel of Time and fantasy related content. I cover both the Wheel of Time book series and all the lore surrounding it as well as the television show. Many of you that watch are not subscribed, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated when I release new Wheel of Time content. Also, quick Quick thank you to the video sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a gift box subscription service that sends you a new custom catered box each and every month with some really cool stuff. When you sign up for the service, they put you through a short questionnaire that gets an idea of what your tastes are, and then they send you stuff that is all based around your interests. I have used just about everything that they have sent me, and if you don't like one of the boxes they're about to send, you can pause it or you can switch it out for another one. You're always going to get something that you love or that you'll use it's really awesome and with the holiday season coming up bespoke post makes great gifts so it's just cool in general you can also support the channel by buying from bespoke post so if you want to go ahead and treat yourself to a box by clicking the link in the description of the video you will love it but let's get to the news As of September 16th, 2022, it has been 15 years since the passing of Robert Jordan due to amyloidosis. He is a truly amazing man that I never got to meet in person, but he had such a huge impact on my life. I can remember following his blog as he was dealing with his illness and he was giving updates on his writing. I remember hearing about his passing and just the impact that that had on me. I was so attached to his characters that it felt like not only we lost Robert Jordan, but that we also lost a piece of them as well. It then also saying, in at the time that we might never know the ending to this amazing story. And I remember that amazing moment that Brandon Sanderson was announced that he was going to be finishing the books. He was a guy I had never heard of, but I am so thankful for Robert Jordan, for his wife Harriet, and obviously for Brandon for finishing the stories that we love. So thank you again to Robert Jordan. So over the past month or two, there have been a number of casting announcements for the Wheel of Time Season 2. I want to hit a number of them real quick just to get everybody up to date on what has been happening. First, if you remember way back, actor Jay Duffy was reported to be connected to the Wheel of Time by WattSeries.com, but it was unconfirmed. WattSeries was able to confirm now that Jay Duffy is in fact going to be a part of the Wheel of Time. While his exact role has not been confirmed, it's good speculation that he'll either be playing a White Cloak, possibly Dane Bornhold, or Gawain Tricand or Galad Damadred. Jay Duffy has had roles in Vikings, Hollyoaks, and most recently Dairy Girls. Shows I have not seen, but I have seen Vikings. There have been two other castings that we don't have a role tied to, but we do have the names of the actors playing them. So both Dara O'Toole and Lubna Kerr have been cast for season two, and again, both in unknown roles. Dara has had roles in Apple's Foundation series as well as in Peaky Blinders, and Lubna Kerr is an actress with roles in Moondogs, Christmas in the Highlands, and Armchair Detectives. Now, I've not seen any of those, so I really can't comment. I would guess that these are fairly small roles because we have no idea what they're playing, and Lubna Kerr actually said that her role was very, very tiny, so probably very small roles there. The last casting, though, is a familiar face. Hollywood legend Haley Mills has been cast on the show, again, in an unknown role. Now, Haley Mills has been acting for more than 50 years. She's probably most known for her roles with Disney as Pollyanna and in The Parent Trap. Now, while it's unknown who she'll be playing, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that she's probably playing a wise one. Just my thought. Who do you think she is playing, though? Let me know in the comments of the video. So, 
If you remember back to the San Diego Comic-Con, there was an announcement there about the new Wheel of Time shorts that Amazon had created to supplement the Wheel of Time TV show. Now, if you aren't familiar, during the run for season one of the show, Amazon created short animated clips that explained various elements from the backstory of the Wheel of Time. Initially, they were buried in the X-ray area on Amazon, so not many people saw them, even though they were super high quality and they were really well done. They were eventually released separately, which was a really smart idea, given how well they were done and how well received they were. So fans actually then got to actually see them. Well, this year at the San Diego Comic Con, which happened about a month and a half, two months ago, it was announced that they would be releasing a lot of them before the season, which is a really good idea. They should have done that last year. They even announced that the first one would be coming out in August. Well, August came and went, and we did not get the release of any of them, which is unfortunate. The Wheel of Time Twitter account even came out and sort of apologized, saying that they would not be coming in August. So what happened? Well, given that Amazon's priority that week was Rings of Power and its release after they spent more than a billion dollars to bring it to life, I think that part is fairly obvious. However, it's very sloppy that Amazon would promise an August release for these clips just to renege on it. Amazon could have learned something from my latest video on my new leadership and self-development focused channel, No Lead Grow, that actually addresses this very topic about not disappointing people. But it happened, and so it is what it is. So now what? Well, I think the fact that they were promising to release them in August is a good sign that they are actually complete, which means that the delay is likely just because of the marketing focus. I think that also means that we are bound to see them soon. The question is, will we see them before the Rings of Power ends? And I'm going to say no, but for reasons that I'll expand upon here in a moment. I do think that we will see them this year and possibly in the next month or so. So for those of you who are like me, who are anxiously waiting for them, I don't think you have that long to wait. Just this past week, it was announced that there would unsurprisingly be a Wheel of Time feature at the upcoming New York Comic Con. Now, we were just talking about the announcements at the San Diego Comic Con, and it appears that Wheel of Time will have a confirmed presence at the New York Comic Con as well. Now, last year at the New York Comic Con, they previewed a few scenes from the show, but I have a feeling it's going to go differently this year. The New York Comic Con runs from October 6th to October 8th, and it was released that Rafe and the cast will be present. Now, typically, by having the cast there, I would imagine that we're going to get asset drops and a release date for the show. Why am I so optimistic about this? Well, it corresponds with the ending of Rings of Power. Rings of Power's eighth and final episode will air on October 13th. It would make a lot of sense for Wheel of Time trailer to drop right before the end of Rings of Power and pull in that huge Rings of Power audience. They would be able to show that trailer not only on the Rings of Power previews, but also during Thursday Night Football, which Amazon has also bought the rights to. So this has a huge audience. It would make a ton of sense. So we got the Wheel of Time release date for season one in July of last year and then the show released in November. So I don't think we're going to see a 2022 release of the show, but I don't think that early 2023 is out of the question. Which brings me back to the Wheel of Time Origins shorts. I think that we will probably get one in October as well, and this would make sense and it would help with the lead up to the season two's premiere. What do you all expect from the New York Comic Con? Are you expecting to see a trailer and a release date as well? Let me know in the comments of the video. We also got a very cool release from Sony this week, who is one of the producers for The Wheel of Time. They dropped a five minute video on YouTube that goes over the process of creating the sets for season one of The Wheel of Time. Now it's really cool to see how large some of the sets were and some of the thought that went into creating them. Wheel of Time set designer Andrzej Nekvasil did an amazing job of bringing the various locations of the Wheel of Time to life. You even get some commentary on how COVID-19 affected some of the set design and locations that they had planned to shoot, meaning that they had to recreate the blight from scratch. I highly recommend watching this short video. I'll have it linked in the description of the video for you to check out. So in some more community news, Recapa Sedai, everybody's favorite YouTube I Sedai, has returned from the hospital and is doing very well in his recovery from a traumatic brain injury suffered in a fall a bit more than a month ago. 
Now, if you were not aware, the community came together, raised almost $40,000 to help Brian in his recovery. He and his family are extremely thankful they've posted such, and I, I will pass it on. I've spoken to him directly. Brian is a member of the podcast that I am a part of called Tarball and After Dark which is a comedy-focused Wheel of Time podcast. And while Brian is not returning to the podcast, at least in the short term, our short break now is over. Uh, we have actually returned with a new guest host, Jenny, a.k.a. Lesby Nerdy from YouTube. We have released our first new episode last week, and if you want to check it out, I will have the podcast linked in the description of the video. It's a ton of fun. So lastly, you heard me mention it earlier, I have a new YouTube channel that is based around leadership and self-development. For my big boy job, I am a consultant that works with HR and learning and development by coaching and helping implement changes in businesses. My passion is helping people achieve their potential. If that's something that interests you, consider checking it out. It's always slow getting a new YouTube channel started off the ground, but I address things like how to prevent disappointment in relationships, how to best read self-development books, tips for growing professionally, I have a video coming out for five tips on being a better boss. Much, much more to come. The channel is called No Lead Grow, and I'll have it linked in the description of the video. Go check it out and subscribe if that's up your alley. I'll be posting there every week. So that's it for the Wheel of Time news. It's been a bit. Let's hope that it continues to pick up here in the near future. What did you all think of the news? Let me know what you think in the comments of the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel to be updated when I release more Wheel of Time news and lore related content. Huge thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. You make all of this possible. If you wanna help support what I do here on the channel, consider checking out my Patreon. You can see that link in the description of the video. Thank you to all of my patrons again for your support. And if you like this video, you might like one of these here as well. Thank you for watching and until next time, peace out.